Okay, we're continuing our tutorial videos on how to use Edmodo as a teacher. In the last video, I looked at groups and I created my own class, which in this case was science. So if you have a bit of a look now, um, down here, you'll actually notice, well, I'll, I'll press this home button, which will just take me back to the beginning. Um, but you can actually see I've now got three classes set up. I've got my science, my mathematics, and my English. Now, two of these are the same color. I can change that really easily just by clicking on here. I might make it a nice, maybe a nice light blue. So I've got three different colors, and, and that's purely an aesthetic quality just to help me filter out what's going on. Um, I've got my wall in the middle, and one of the first things I did was I posted something on my science uh, class and you can see here that I can actually see that in the general section but if I wanted to more specifically look at what's going on in science I'm just going to click on this class. I'm going to talk today about what the functions are at the top here and some of the different things that you can do. Um, there's some really great components here which make it really easy for students to access content and I think that's one of the great things about this tool. We mentioned that you can type a note to your students really easily. I could just say something like, you know, are you having a good day? You know, something like this can just be a good way you know, when students first come in, they can answer it, they can put a comment on it, anything like that. So I could just send that. And all of the students just in that class, so not everyone on the internet, not everyone in the world, but only students in that class would be able to read that. And if they were looking at it, they could click reply and they might be able to say something like yes. You know, so I can actually follow a uh, you know, follow a conversation or something in there. And that's a really great way to have classroom discussions, particularly for students who might be a little bit shy. Um, let me go through some of these other bits and pieces. There is, of course, an alert function here. Now, this is just the same as writing a message, but the only difference is when you write an alert, it actually comes up. There's a little thing up here called notifications. And what it means is as soon as you write an alert, in this case, I might say something like science test today, something really important. That I really want them to remember. If I put that down, it'll actually come up um, as a special post on their wall. Um, and it'll come up with a red mark in their notification saying something important is happening. So it's just the same as writing a normal post, but it means that they have to look at it um, in order to get rid of that little alert at the top. Um, and that's a really good way to go about it. Obviously, 140 characters, so you can't write a huge story. It's just for quick pieces of information. But I often, for my students, like to put in something if there is something important. Don't forget to bring back your forms. Don't forget there's a test tomorrow. Don't forget your homework. Anything like that's really handy. Now, one of the key things in this that you'll really use very often is, of course, putting on an assignment. So I want to talk through the way that this happens. Um, this is a really great tool. In this case, I'm going to put together a little task here. So you notice I just clicked, I'll do that again. I clicked on the assignment tab. Nothing came up straight away, but once I put in the title, it puts in some information here. So in this case, I'm going to create an assignment and I'm going to call it science worksheet. Okay. Um, and what I want people to do, what I want my students to do is to read the attached worksheet and uh, write a I might say a 100 word summary. This is for a year eight class. So I might be talking about filtering information. Um, now, you can put as much detail into that as you want. You could certainly write out all the things. You could put some dot points. Anything like that is completely fine. But I'm just going to make it nice and clear. And you might notice I've said here, read the attached worksheet. Now, I haven't attached the worksheet yet. And this is, again, a really great thing to do using Edmodo. I'm going to click on down here. There's different things I can actually create. I can cre I could have this come out in two weeks if I didn't want them to see it straight away. Um, you know, I could link it to a website. You know, and sometimes it's about saying visit this website and write a 100 word summary or look at this information. In this case, I'm just going to add a PDF file and that's what they're actually going to read and they can do all of this on their laptops. So all I need to do, um, I've got the message there, I just need to click on file. And I'm just going to go to, I've put this particular file preemptively on my desktop. Um, so I'm just going to flick down here and just see what I can find. I've got off the, all kinds of things on my desktop, as you can see. If I go down, aha, I've got something here called Science Worksheet. So I'm going to open that up. 
Okay, and you can see it's just down the bottom. It's loading, it's uploading the document. Upload is completed. Science worksheet is there. Okay, everything's in place. Now I could add another file if I wanted to. I'm not going to, but I could certainly do that very easily. Um, or I could add a website as well, anything like that. But essentially once I've got everything I need for that assignment, um, the only thing I need to do now is put on a due date. So let's say, you know, at the moment it's Monday, um, you know, and I want them to have it done for homework and I want to check it on Wednesday. So I'm just going to, obviously it's the 20th today according to this little calendar, I'm going to say I want it due on the 22nd of the 1st. So you can see there, I'm just going to click send. And there it is. And this is exactly how they'll see it. Okay, and of course, you might get some comments from students. You know, they might say something like, I need help, or they might say something like, I need something, you know, I can't find the sheet or something like that. I often have my students writing to me on it, so you might see some comments underneath in this area here, um, but generally this is what they'll see. Um, they can click on that science worksheet and that'll actually download for them. You can see that that's actually uh, showed up down the bottom here and I can look at that. Okay, so they can actually look at that worksheet and you know, they can uh, answer those questions or they can take any notes or anything like that so it's a great tool and the best thing is if you set it up with parents or even if you've got forgetful students who lose the sheet it's digital so they can just download another one perhaps even print it off if you'd like that now the only difference with a student screen is that here it says turned in at the moment it tells me that no students have turned in this piece of work um, for the student it'll simply say turn in Okay, so when they've finished, let's say they did it on a Word document, then they would turn it in. And it's actually very similar to when I attached this file before in terms of how they do it. But that's a really great way. If you've got 25 students in your class and there's only 23 numbers here, you can certainly say, where are the other two students? So it's a great way to go about it. Um, we'll talk about the quiz and the poll information a little bit later on but obviously putting up comments and assignments is going to be one of the things you do most commonly with Edmodo. So have a bit of a play with it and practice um, and there's some really great stuff that you can do.